For a while now, big whales have been shelling out millions of dollars to buy sheep, which has seen the price of the token surge dramatically. Now, considering that these whales are typically anonymous, people have started speculating about who these whales are, especially the most recent one. And one of the speculations is a really big name in the financial investment space. We'll be discussing this in today's video, so make sure to stick around to the end. But first, disclaimer. Hey there, Sheep Army, and welcome back to the channel. First time viewers are also highly welcome. If you're looking for where to get regular Shiba Inu updates, plus a dash of general crypto news, you'll feel right at home here. Just make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a new upload. Now let's get into today's video. Actually, before we get into the big news, here's something to be very excited about. Shiba Inu is now open for trading on Brazil's oldest exchange, Foxbit. In a previous video, I talked about how Foxbit had announced that it would be listing the token on February 16th. Well, the 16th has come and gone and now the token is live on the exchange. Remember that Foxbit has a customer base of close to a million which is definitely impressive. But Foxbit is only the second Brazilian exchange to list Shiba Inu. The token initially scored a listing on Brazil's biggest exchange, Mercado Bitcoin. So, it's safe to say that Brazil is really accepting of Shiba Inu. There's something else I want to talk about before we get into today's news. In my last video, I told you that Ethereum whales held a total of a billion dollars in Shiba. Well, that amount has now doubled to more than two billion dollars and as a result, Shiba now accounts for about 23% of crypto holdings by whales. This increase in whale activities is making members of the sheep community eager to see sheep hit even more milestones and garner more listings and adoptions. In addition to that, people are speculating that this increase in whale holdings could actually cause a new price surge for the token. On top of all of that, one of the really interesting speculations that people are making is that the new whale that increased whale holdings of sheep to more than $2 billion is Warren Buffett. Yup, the very Warren Buffett you know. Now let's get into this speculation because if it is true, it could be very huge. First off, just a couple of years ago, Buffett referred to Bitcoin as rat poison and an unproductive asset that has no unique value. Now, considering that he is famously called the Sage of Omaha because he typically knows things before the rest of the investment market, that statement must have had some sort of impact on the crypto market. However, it looks like the investor is seeing crypto in a different light and so singing a different tune because it was just revealed that he made a billion dollar investment in crypto. Well, to be more specific, his company, Berkshire Hathaway, just spent $1 billion purchasing stock in a digital bank that focuses on crypto. According to Fortune, Berkshire Hathaway made its crypto investment public with an SEC filing earlier this week. It revealed that Buffett's company had purchased $1 billion in shares of Nubank, a digital bank based in Brazil and the largest of its kind in Latin America. Interestingly, this is not even Berkshire Hathaway's first foray into the world of crypto. Apparently, in the summer of 2021, the company bought a $500 million stake in Nubank and that was months before the digital bank went public. At the same time this was happening, Berkshire was also letting go of some of its more traditional financial assets in companies like Visa and MasterCard, which is something to really think about. However, that is not the focus of this video. The focus of this video is the $1 billion that Berkshire just recently invested. It really lines up with the recent surge in sheep holdings by whales, don't you think? This is why a number of people are speculating that the recent whale could be Buffett. He has the money to be a whale and his company just recently spent $1 billion on crypto. Another reason that people are speculating that this new whale could be Buffett is because, in spite of the fact that he has not come out to say that he has changed his mind about crypto, his daughter is apparently making bank with NFTs. So maybe he actually has changed his mind and now considers Sheep a viable investment option. However, nothing has been confirmed yet. It's all basically just theory right now. Nonetheless, whether or not it is Buffett, it remains the fact that Sheeb is still very attractive to whales. That said, I want to hear your opinion on this. Do you really think it could be Buffett? Or is it someone from among the top 100 richest people in the world? Or even just someone else altogether? Do tell us in the comment section. 
Moving on from that, Binance is including a wonderful new feature to its exchange that'll make the SHIB army very excited. Basically, you can now stake your SHIB on Binance. This new feature that has been called a high yield center will allow SHIB holders to stake their tokens and earn up to 104.62% APY. The staking is set to start off on the 17th of February and will last for 10 days, but you'll have to get there as quickly as possible because the staking will be on a first come first serve basis. Something else you want to know is that you'll be required to stake a minimum of 200 sheeps, with the maximum staking amount being 7 million sheeps per person. According to the Crypto Basic, Binance added that interest payout time will be added on a daily basis, which is expected to start at midnight on the day the lock stake is confirmed until the next 10 days. This is definitely a welcome development, especially considering that Sheep is one of the highest ROIs that Binance is currently offering. Moving from the US to the UK, Sheep fans living in the UK will be delighted to hear that they can now transact with Shiba Inu via their MasterCard supported crypto card. The card, which is powered by CoinJar and EML payments, allows you to make purchases in crypto everywhere MasterCard is accepted, which is kinda everywhere right now. The card works with close to 50 currencies aside from Shiba Inu, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, so it is a really versatile card. But more than that, it really helps Shiba Inu in a number of ways. For instance, the card presents sheep holders with a lot more real-life uses for the token. It doesn't only have to be a store of value, it can also be used to purchase everyday items. Based on this, it won't be surprising for us to see a significant increase in sheep purchases. And by that, I mean that more people would be purchasing the token because it's actually useful in the real world. Sheep already has a number of real world uses, including the Wellies partnership, but it sure doesn't hurt to have more. This is because the more relevant the token gets, the higher its price, something we all want. Another way that we can increase trade volume and even the token price is getting Twitter to add Shiba Inu as a tipping option. For a quick backstory, in September of last year, Twitter began to allow users to send tips in Bitcoin, which wasn't all that surprising considering that its former CEO is an avid supporter of the coin. However, Twitter just added Ethereum as a tipping option and some people are saying that it might have something to do with Dorsey's departure. Whether or not that's the case, Ethereum being listed as a tipping option on Twitter has kind of opened the doors for other currencies, including Shiba Inu. So, if we could bring the token to Twitter's attention, I think it's possible for Shiba to be added as a tipping option. Remember that as a community, we've gotten a number of other organizations to take notice of the token and has yielded positive results. So really, nothing says that we can't do it again. We just have to put in the work and who knows, we might have that Twitter tip jar listing before the end of the year. Alright, away from Shiba Inu to Shiboshis. Here's a quick reminder of why you need to grab some Shiboshis ahead of the Shiba's land grab. While it's not clear what role the Shiboshi NFTs will play in the Shiba's land grab, Shiba Informer has hinted at the fact that some specific zones might be made exclusive to Shiboshi owners. Now, if you didn't get yourself some Shiboshi NFTs when they were first released, you might have another opportunity to grab yourself some. But before we get into that, this channel has a daily giveaway of 100,000 Sheeb. For a chance to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. Hashtag Shiba Inu. Good luck! Nobody has really said anything about producing more NFTs, but when asked about requiring Shiboshi ownership for the games, Shitoshi mentioned that there will be enough Shiboshis for all players. So it could mean that more will be produced sometime in the future. Anyway, speaking of the Shibers, the metaverse is revolutionizing the world as we know it, and the real estate industry looks to be getting quite the attention right now thanks to Decentraland. The Decentraland Foundation was founded in 2015 and since then it has been drawing the eyes and money of a lot of big names who have been looking to secure land space in the metaverse. Now if there's one thing that we know about real estate investment, it's that investors typically spend their investments across different locations instead of buying all their lands and houses from the same location. Bringing this sentiment into the metaverse, we can expect that investors will be looking to purchase land in other metaverses including or aside from Decentraland. As a result, it is a really fortunate thing that Shiba Inu plans to launch its own metaverse soon. 
With the Shiba Inu Metaverse coming soon, it'll be able to take advantage of the hype generated by old timers like Decentraland while also cashing in on the advantages that being one of the first metaverses offers. Moving on to more general crypto news, it is becoming increasingly important to take precautions as you make crypto transactions. A number of projects have been cropping up that are trying to mimic popular brands like Tesla and Jurassic Park to trick you into buying their tokens and then do a carpet sweep. It's pretty easy to do this and considering that crypto is decentralized, it is completely your job to research a project before committing your money to it. Some of them might look really convincing, but if the supposed parent company hasn't said anything about it, it is definitely not true. Some of these fake projects that you might want to steer clear of are Jurassic Token, Mini Tesla, and Meta NFT Marketplace. Animoca Brands Metaverse Token is another one that you want to avoid, especially considering that Animoca Brands has called it out to be a scam. Finally, as you watch out for scams, you also want to be on the lookout for advanced hacking bots. According to Cointelegraph, scammers have been using advanced hacking bots on Telegram designed to trick investors into divulging their two-factor authentication, leading to accounts being locked and wiped out. Apparently, these one-time password bots are cheap and very easy to use. What then happens is that you receive an official-sounding phone call telling you to read out the OTP that has been sent to your phone, and with that, they can gain access to your crypto wallet and wipe it clean. So, it is very important that we are all cautious, and we can do this by following the instruction given by Coinbase. If you receive a call from someone claiming to be from a financial institution, do not disclose any of your account details or security codes. Instead, hang up and call them back from an official phone number listed on the organization's website. And on that note, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there. If you're a true Shiba Inu fan, then you must check out this video.